Hello 4K friends, it's Miss Nightinger here. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but we are actually not going to be going back to school for the rest of the school year. I am super sad about this and I miss you all so very much. I hope you're staying home and healthy and I hope you're doing lots of reading and still learning everything that we could have possibly learned this school year. So because we aren't going back to school this school year, I'm going to start uploading videos. And my first video is going to be doing a read aloud today. So we're going to get started on that. And I look forward to making videos every day and sending it over to you all. And hopefully you enjoy it. My first read aloud today is called Tilly's Staycation. It's by Jillian Hibbs. Why can't we go on vacation? asked Tilly. Tariq is going to India. Rory is going to the ocean. Paris is going to Paris. Chanel is going to Florida. And Tim is going camping. We'll just have as much fun as everyone else. You'll see, Mom answered. Maybe more. That night, Tilly went to have dinner with Paris. Her mom was packing a huge suitcase full of all the things they needed for their vacation. Back home, Tilly had a sneaky look to see if mom was packing the old suitcase. They sometimes took to visit Granny. It was sitting on top of the chest of drawers gathering dust, just like it always did. Do you see it up there? The next day, Tilly walked home from school with Ta Tariq and his dad. Who's he talking to? whispered Tilly. The travel agent, replied Tariq. He's sorting out the flights for tomorrow. At home, the phone rang. Hello, Granny, Tilly sighed disappointingly. I thought you might have been the travel agent. She's feeling disappointed. Maybe she's a little upset they're not going on a vacation. Tilly was really down in the dumps. It's my vacation and I'm not doing anything at all, she sniffed, but she couldn't help hoping that something exciting might be about to happen and went to sleep with a little tingle in her toes. The next morning, Tilly was allowed to have breakfast in mom's bed, just like she did on her birthday. Get your best adventuring clothes on, my little explorer, mom smiled. We've got a bus to catch. Hmm, where do you think they're going? When they got off the bus, Tilly was puzzled. Why have you brought me to the library? She asked. It was a hot day outside, but the library was cool, breezy, and peaceful. Mom told Tilly stories of faraway places and marvelous people. They were worlds away, fighting dragons, sailing pirate ships, meeting princesses, and hiding from ferocious beasts. Then it was time to stop for a well-earned lunch in a top secret hideaway. Before discovering hidden treasure and rare sea creatures. <laughs> Where do you think they are right now? Are they really in the ocean? Or do you think they might be imagining the animals around them? At the market, they found a mermaid's mirror, a genie's lamp, and golden coins from distant lands. How had they ended up here? When they got home, Tilly was tired. I've got an idea, said Mom. Run around the apartment and collect all the sheets, towels, and blankets you can find. I want you to make a prediction. What do you think mom's idea is? Why do they need all of these sheets, towels, and blankets? Hmm. Ta-da! Mom had made the most beautiful tent that Tilly had ever seen. Welcome to our vacation home, laughed mom. Inside the tent, they told stories all night. Tilly was so happy, it had been a wonderful adventure. I can't wait to tell my friends about my staycation. 
Oh, so instead of a vacation where she went somewhere, she had a staycation where she stayed in town but still had a nice getaway. And she did. All right, friends, that is the end of my story. I hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all look forward to my stories and videos. Bye-bye.